Today we're at the train station in Bangkok and we're catching the night train, the first class sleeper train from Bangkok up to Chiang Mai. Hello. It feels really private because we've got our own cabin to ourselves because there's two of us travelling together. It's not amazingly comfortable, but for one night it's okay. Hi everyone, I'm Andrew from Always On A Journey. Today we're at the train station in Bangkok. It's Bangkok Railway Station, Walampong, and we're catching the night train, the first class sleeper train from Bangkok up to Chiang Mai. Now, this is a 13 hour journey. Some of you might think, are you crazy? Why would you travel for 13 hours when you can catch a flight which only takes one hour and at the moment the flight is actually cheaper i checked the flights and we could catch a flight from bangkok up to chiang mai for 1300 baht that doesn't include baggage but we've done that journey before and a couple of weeks ago we did the journey from chiang mai down to bangkok by bus and we're just curious we're curious to have the experience to travel on each of the different forms of transport and just share that journey and experience with you. It looks like our train is on platform four and you can see on the board now, it's due at 6.10 from platform four. So it's the writing's in Thai, but it's also, it flips and it's in English as well. So we are Special Express 9. It's really important to know if you do want to travel on the night train from Bangkok up to Chiang Mai, I strongly recommend trying to book your tickets online in advance. When we were trying to book the tickets, it wasn't that easy. We tried to book them maybe two or three days in advance, but the dates we wanted weren't available. So we gave ourselves about two weeks. So just be mindful I wouldn't recommend just turning up at the train station and hoping you can get a ticket because that would probably be quite unlikely. Our tickets for two people from Bangkok up to Chiang Mai cost about 3,100 baht and that's for our own private cabin with a lower sleeper and an upper sleeper. Once the train arrives and we get on there, we'll share the journey with you. ระบบน้ําอุ่นค่ะส่วนห้องสุขาเป็นระบบเดียวกับบนเครื่องบินใช้ได้ตลอดเวลานะคะพาจัดตัวสําหรับอาบน้ําค่ะกลิ่นฉ
So I, I understood two things that she said. She said kuat, so I understood that she said bottle, and she said bit my, so she was asking if we wanted the door to be closed. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I understood. But what's really good is it's about 20 past five now, and we're not due to leave until about 10 past six. And I think the train arrived about 10 minutes ago and you can get on, so you can get on, get comfortable, have a look around at least an hour before it departs. And I think that's everything in this room. So shall we go outside and have a look around the rest of the cabin? Let's have a look. Right at the end of the train, there's two toilets here and there's a shower here and another toilet. Yeah, it is big enough. Okay. Have a look at this toilet, see if it's any different. <laughs> oh, I think that's just a men's, is it? It's... Oh, it's not a men's. Oh, okay, so this is just a men's toilet. Okay. No, no. We're in train 13 and I've just went outside to have a little walk around and tried to walk into the next train but the guard told me that I wasn't allowed to go in there because he said it's a ladies only car and it didn't look like it was a sleeper train it just looked like there were seats in there. I really want to have a look but I haven't got my wig on. <laughs> My first impressions are good. I'll let you know tomorrow after we've tried to sleep whether I think it's a good experience or not. But it feels really private because we've got our own cabin to ourselves because there's two of us traveling together and there's enough space. Obviously, we've only got a small amount of luggage. So the luggage is underneath the bottom bed so it's not in the way of us. I think if you had a suitcase, it would probably make the room feel a little bit more crowded but it's nice that it's got these tables and it's got the electric sockets as well so if you've got your computer or if you've got your smartphone you can play on them it's got free wi-fi okay so it looks like the download and the upload speed are both less than one so it is quite slow another good thing as well is that there's the sink in the corner of the room so yeah, it feels really nice and it feels quite comfortable to be honest. Okay, let me see if I can fly up here without breaking me back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how comfortable this is. So I'm five foot nine, about one hundred and seventy five centimeters. So I'll put my feet against this wall 
Yeah, so I think. Um, so I think even if you are six foot or just slightly taller than six foot, I think you'd be okay. But if you're about six foot four, you'd probably have to sleep with your legs to the side. But it's quite spacious. Let's see if it's comfortable. I mean, it's not amazingly comfortable, but for one night, it's okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's nice. Have we got a blanket? Oh yeah, we have. So we've got a blanket here as well. It's comfortable. I like to be at the lower seat than the upper because I don't want to climb up or climb down. Anyway, either bus <laughs> or train is still too big for Jerry. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Uh, here we are in Chiang Mai. It's just after 10 past 7 in the morning and I actually feel okay. I think I had a decent amount of sleep. It wasn't a brilliant night's sleep, I've got to be honest, because obviously there were sounds and there were beeps and there were noises coming when the train was stopping on the platform. But generally, all in all, it was a decent journey. 